In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeOH3 plus HNO3. This is iron 3 hydroxide plus nitric acid. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So I can see there are three of these nitrate groups here and only one here. So I'm going to put a 3 in front of the HNO3. It looks like at this point, if I put a 3 in front of the H2O, this equation will be balanced. There's a link in the description if you need help balancing the molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each of the substances. Iron 3 hydroxide, these hydroxides, when we have a hydroxide with a transition metal, that's usually going to be insoluble. It won't dissolve, so we're going to write an S after that. Nitric acid, strong acid, so that's a strong electrolyte. It'll break apart into its ions. When we have nitrates, nitrates are very soluble, so that's going to be aqueous as well. And then we have water, which is a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. This is a solid. It's not a strong electrolyte, so we're just going to write FeOH3. We're not going to split it apart, and I'll write the states at the end. Hydrogens in group 1 has a 1 plus charge in this whole nitrate ion, 1 minus. So this is an aqueous solution, strong acid, strong electrolyte. We're going to split it up three hydrogen ions plus three nitrate ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products we have, we said nitrate was a one minus, so we have three of them. This iron has to be a three plus. So we'll have Fe three plus, that's the iron three ion, plus we have three nitrate ions. And then we have three water molecules and we don't split water up in net ionic equations. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They really haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. As I look, the only thing I can see that's the same in the reactants and products is are these three nitrate ions. I have it here in the reactants and the products. So I'm just going to cross that out. And what's left will be the net ionic equation for FeOH3 plus HNO3. I'll clean this up and add the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our net ionic equation for iron 3 hydroxide plus nitric acid. You'll notice that we have 3 times 1 plus, so we have 3 plus for our charge on the reactants, and then in the products we have 3 plus, so charge is conserved. It's the same on both sides, and if you count the atoms up, each type of atom, they'll be the same on both sides of the equation. So that's balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.